हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द वीक टू ऑफ फाइनेंशियल डेटा एनालिसिस कोर्स एंड इन दिस वीक वी विल लर्न एवरीथिंग अबाउट द डेटा क्लीनिंग टू डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग टू फ्यूचर इंजीनियरिंग एंड ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टॉक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडेज वीडियो विद द एजेंडा दैट इज मिसिंग डेटा एंड आउटलायर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू कैन डिटेक्ट द मिसिंग डेटा एंड हाउ यू कैन हैंडल दैट एंड हाउ यू कैन डिटेक्ट द आउटलायर्स एंड हाउ टू हैंडल दैट ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस डमी डेटा दैट आई जस्ट क्रिएट विद इट हैज लाइक सम काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूज एज वेल एंड सम काइंड ऑफ नैन वैल्यूज एज वेल एंड यू कैन चेक फॉर द मिसिंग वैल्यू इन योर डेटा फ्रेम बाई यूजिंग दिस कमांड दैट इज डेटा डॉट इज नल इट इट विल चेक दैट वेयर द रोज दैट हैज नैन वैल्यूज एंड इट इट विल सम अप ऑल दोज नैन वैल्यूज एंड गिव यू द आंसर दैट इज इन द कॉलम नेम्ड ए वी हैव फोर नैन वैल्यूज and in the column named b we have three nan values okay so in that way it will just uh, help you to detect the nan values in your complete data frame okay so the next step is to how to handle these kind of nan values so you can handle these kind of uh, nan values by using three means the first is by imputing it with mean median or mod okay so let us create a new dummy data here we have the age column salary column education column and the city column and every column has some kind of a nan values as well okay so first thing just before uh, doing any kind of imputation our data looks like this it has nan values all all over the place okay so uh, uh, when we do the imputation by using the mean okay so mean can only work in the numerical columns okay so you can just use mean in the column of age or in the column of salary as well okay so for that kind of thing, you just need to do this thing simple command that is fill an na and uh, calculate the mean of your uh, column and then in place true it will just do one thing it will just take that mean and fill that mean to the both nan values here okay and the next thing you can do it by the median as well because median can be calculated only on the numerical columns as well okay so for that kind of thing you just need to do the same step that is fill na calculate the age of uh, you can calculate the median of that age column and the salary column and then just do the uh, work okay then for the kind of mode so mode can be calculated on only for the categorical columns okay so they, there are like some kind of uh, other uh, techniques that in which in, uh, by using that you can calculate the mode of the numerical column as well but imputation of categorical columns we mainly use the mod only okay we don't use the median or uh, mean as well so for that kind of thing just do need to calculate the mod and by taking it the first place because when you ca calculate the mod it returns a list of uh, values so you just need the first value out out of it to use it as a, a mod okay so after doing the imputation completed you have this data your all the nan values get fixed now okay so you just see all the nan values get fixed so okay so then next thing we talk about the how to detect the outliers in our data so for that kind of thing we have this complete data here and we add like some kind of outliers in the data that is uh, at age and salary as well so as you just see that all the age values are like uh, Uh, between uh, 25 to 85 something and if we add a value of 120 it is a very huge value it is it works as a outlier and similarly for the salary as well all the salaries are above 10000 but if we add a salary of 5000 it will work as a outlier okay so for that kind of thing you have to detect that those kind of uh, outliers as well and uh, outlier detection can also only work in the num uh, only work in the numerical phrase only okay so for that we use only these two columns age or salary so let's just first detect the outliers by using the z score so z score has a kind of a formula here that i just wrote it down here and that formula is help you to calculate the z score the formula is very simple that is x that is your data point and that your col column mean that is your mean mean of that uh, complete uh, column as well and the standard deviation of that column as well in that way you can easily calculate the z score of that column 
okay so i just mention here that i need z score greater than 2 so greater than 2 means i need values only that are like greater than 95% of the data because 2 means two standard deviation away from the mean and two standard deviation away away from the means that your 95% of the data okay so when we print that so here are our two outliers here okay so we can uh, uh, plot these outlier by using the plotly library here and uh, here you can see that these two are the outliers which i just mark with the big red dots and this is just a code you can just easily get it from the on online as well so don't uh, worry about this code and the next thing you can detect the outliers now just handle those outliers so first i have this kind of data as well and in the data i already like put all the outliers here that is mentioned here and here okay so just before doing any kind of outlier handling our data looks like this okay it has like these two values which are very far away from the data as well so we need to like handle these kind of thing the first technique is called winsorization so winsorization is technique that can check for the your uh, uh, precise values that that are not outliers and replace those your outlier values with those uh, uh, suspicious non outlier values so uh, let's just say i have this value that is value number 80 so 80 is not a outlier if by calculating your uh, uh, suspicious outlier values from all all these uh, kind of values we get a number let's say 28 so that is not a outlier because our number is 25 here so 28 is in between that uh, data as well so in that way it it just like uh, uh, replace the values of 85 with 28 number and 120 with a 28 number so it is just first calculate the lower bound calculate the upper bound and then it just check that where the values are less than the lower bound or greater than the upper bound it just fix those values with the lower and upper values only so when you just calculate this kind of thing at 95% of the uh, confidence interval data you get these two values that between the range of 29.68 and 87.23 all the data should exist so it, it just replace your values like this 25 and uh, your 120 values to these values 29 87 and when you just plot again you see this your values start from the 29 now and end at the 87.24 now okay you just see that your values shift from the 25 to 29 now so in that way this outlier hand detection works in that case so the next uh, method is called trimming so trimming will do just one thing it just uh, remove those kind of values which are outlier values so here you see it just remove those big outlier values so there is no value which has 120 now okay one of the values not there and the next method is z score so z score math method will do one thing it just use a threshold value so the difference between the uh, trimming and z score is that z score does not follow a kind of a threshold value it uses the uh, kind of technique that is called quantile that is 95% quantile but here the value of z score it use all the kind of mean and standard deviation as well along with the threshold values as well so threshold we put as 2 because we need about the 95% of the data values that are apart from the data are the outlier we need to remove remove them completely remove them okay so in that way it is also work in the same case that a value of the 1 120 not there it is gone okay so i hope you guys completely understand about like how to handle the missing values and how to handle the outlier as well if you guys have any kind of uh, uh, questions as well you can put it in into the comment section and uh, we'll meet in our next video